side action, and we're just about set to kick off. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number six. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Taken from the three-yard line. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Good tackle there in space. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Fires out to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 47. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. Oh, and what a run that was. And here on the pitch out to the tailback, they were able to capitalize with a defense on their heels. Now he's scrambling. And they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. It's second and 12. Ball on the 27-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. Caught with room to work. Brought down at about the 15-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. And the defense comes through. Now they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. You've got to give them credit for making a great play. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Throws it away. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He goes downtown. And he got it. To the 20. He's taken down right around the 16-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. From the 16-yard line, second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at about the seven-yard line. Number 30 on the tackle at the seven-yard line. Third down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. 
That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Fresno State. was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 82-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Fresno State, ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. A loss of about six. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down and 13. Ball on the 22. Going deep, lays it out there. It's broken up. Wasn't a bad pass at all, but just a good heads-up effort to get his fingertips on the ball. Seven yard line. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face, he's got to challenge them, he's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's, it's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. Fresno State is up a score. Quick throw. Tackle right around the 34. That'll make it second and four. Keep 15. Keep 15. Almost intercepted. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. out here and he shoved out of bounds at the 24. He's on the run. He's tackled at the 16 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings up second and nine. They come out in a five wide set. The 10, and down he goes, right around the 8-yard line. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Bulldogs. He makes the PAT.
looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 25. Fresno State's defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 46. That'll make it second and four. Gets him open field. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. That makes it second and six. He gets rid of this one. We're through one quarter. Fresno State's lead is two touchdowns. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He goes out of bounds around the 34-yard line. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks up. And he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 14-3, Fresno State. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Brought down at the 32-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it out to about the 49. He lets it fly. Can't connect. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time. And he'll get the next one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. They'll go with the run once again. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. He's out of bounds at about the 45. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Takes it up the middle for a nice run.
throws it out, and it falls incomplete. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was underthrown. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's to the 40. And they push him out around the 45-yard line. out to around the 45. He'll get it again. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. Well, this defensive end has tremendous athletic ability. You could see it there on that sack. But also, let's not forget that I think the blitz freed up the DN that time. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication up front. But nonetheless, his speed was able to close in and get to that quarterback. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He laterals. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. No game play. All right, team, let's go, let's go, let's go. That brings up third and 12. He's going to air it long. Got it to the senior. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. They need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. Touchdown, Bruins! converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him, in my opinion. They've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on them. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Quick throw to the tight end. That's a great tackle at the 44. Fresno State is up four. Now he's scrambling, and they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Let's go! Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Makes the catch, and he might take it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 29. That makes it first and 10. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Steps 
It's out of bounds at about the 25 yard line. That makes it second and six. Quick throw out to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Inside the 10, knocked out of bounds at the four-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Watch your team. Watch your team. Watch your team. Fresno State holds a four-point lead. They'll drop him for a loss. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Tenth play of the drive. touchdowns on the ground today. Yeah, he has a lot of freedom to make plays like that, and he can do it because of his athletic ability. The coaches recognize that, and it's proven to be successful. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made at the 48. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. There's a strike complete. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. UCLA will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's scrambling. Lost the ball. Fumble. They'll get him for a loss. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Wants to throw outside. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 21-13, Fresno State. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fresno State up by eight. And he's tackled at the 40. Stopped immediately. That makes it second and six. Got it. 
incomplete, and he's out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 39. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. The Bulldogs in front by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Fresno State holds an eight-point advantage. Looks left, finding his tailback. And he's level at the 38. He guns it right side. And that one's fallen incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. It's the tailback. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That makes it 37. hit immediately back to the line of scrimmage and that's it well it's a good job here to just secure the football but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big Fresno State's coaches just got to be happy. I love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down at the 32. Six-yard line. And he's taken down at the 43. goes 
at the 45 yard line. From the 45 yard line, second down. Tackled around the 32 yard line. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. From the 32 yard line, second down. The Bulldogs defensive back is sidelined with an apparent injury. We don't know the severity of it. Does look kind of serious, and we don't think he's going to be back and playing football today. Fires out to his wideout. Out of bounds, right around the 12-yard line. And they make the stop at the nine. This is the tenth play of the drive. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. UCLA's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Looking right, intercepted to the 20. Touchdown, UCLA! So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. UCLA, up a point. Doesn't sound like much to complete a pass for three yards. Being in front of the end zone with points on the line makes it a much tougher proposition. Number two. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Fresno State's offense looks totally out of sync here in the third quarter. Great first half. Their quarterback was playing well. Now he's not playing well, and neither is the team. I think the first thing you do is look at the quarterback and say, what in the heck is going on? He looks like a different guy, but it's an effort by the entire offense that's missing. The offensive line's not playing the same. The running backs don't seem to be running the same. The receivers aren't uh, doing a, as good a job running their routes. And I think uh, the credit goes to this defense for being able to get more into an attack mode and really turn it up against this offense. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds at the 34-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at the 40-yard line. First 
He's out of bounds around the 42-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. With the pass incomplete. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. And here's another third down. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen. took them a half to kind of get things going. They were a little sloppy early in this game. They've settled down now, and this is the team we expected to see. They're set to go for another round. UCLA is up one. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's to the 40, and they push him out at the 49-yard line. the misdirection runs right for a nice game rush going up field but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield second down about 12 yards to go ball on the 24 yard line down. slings it right stays in bounds to make a nice catch him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of two yards. That brings him second and goal. And to the third, and we've got a tight one. The Bruins lead it by one. three quarters of action tight ball game and now it's the fourth quarter and this will decide it UCLA with a one point lead he gets out to about the six yard line now he's scrambling and he's going to run this one in touchdown the extra point the 
the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He scrambles. It's on the ground. Picks up the fumble. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And they got him. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Hands it off. He's taken down at the 31. The halfback picks up a yard. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. Going deep. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They hand it off. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They come out in an empty backfield. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. Less than three minutes in the game. with room to work, and he hits him hard at the 34. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. That brings in second and nine. Slings it. What a play, and that is first and goal. Fresno State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Gets to about the five-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no-huddle attack. a great tackle at the three. A two-yard run by the halfback. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. 
Touchdown, Bruins. And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 46-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Fires it out. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Defense would like to come up with another big play like they did in the last trip for this offense in the red zone with the interception. Touchdown, Fresno State! Making a triple dip, folks. If he had thrown three touchdowns, it'd be a nice day. Running for three is also nice, but it's also a pretty big shot. So the offense is going to go for two. And they won't get the two. A four-play, 71-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. He's tackled at the 50-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 49. He's at the 40. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. This one's in the books, and our final score, UCLA, 36, Fresno State, 27. 27. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.